Hi, empties. I had 67 products to use up in six months. Let's see how I have done in June. Make up the one product. Buying Terry Mascara, Terribly Mascara. Apparently a growth booster. I saw no growth. It was among the worst mascara formulations that I've tried. If this works for you, uh, lucky salt, you didn't work for me. It made my non-existent eyelashes look non-existent. Yeah, my already non-existent peach fuzz eyelashes looks the same. So not a fan, we'll all be repurchasing this. Thankfully, this wasn't a purchase either. Came either in a GWP or Advent Canada, forgot which. Cleanser, Alpha Rage, Liquid Gold, Skin Renewal Wash. Uh, I didn't love this. It was kind of thick and creamy and I used it as a first cleanser rather than as a second cleanser. I know that Liquid Gold, Glycolic Acid, you generally think that that would be your second cleanser. Usually an acid cleanser is also a kind of gel formula, you know. Particularly if your oily skin that sort of removes any oil. This one didn't. It was very, very creamy. It contains lactic acid, actually. Uh, and, I, yeah, I didn't love this at all. Not a fan. I usually like Alpha Rage. This one, I don't know. Possibly. I mean, I love their balancing cleanser. I love their triple action cleanser. I love their clear skin cleanser. This one is possibly the one cleanser from Alpha Rage that I don't like. Won't be repurchasing. Next product is also from Alpha Rage liquid gold. I've got one more bottle left. This is a product that you I, I use when I can't be asked to do my skincare routine at all. Uh, when I just want to crash, um, I just apply this after cleansing and that's it. Yeah, it does the job. Exfoliation, cell turnover, uh, upper layer of the skin renewal, that sort of thing. It does all that. At the same time, I do need to do 100 different steps. Yeah. So that is why I was using this. But the thing is, I found cheaper acid alternatives uh, and products that other products that I can use as one step as without costing this much. So it won't be repurchasing this either. And anyway, I have another bottle and I expect to get more in during the Advent calendar season because that is what happens. They generally send out these same old, same old dish products. This isn't an essence, it's actually the formula, although it says essence here, it's more of a, the, the formula is a toner. I'm from Mugwort Essence Toner. They have a toner, but I use this as a toner. Decant it into spray bottle and spritz it on. That's what I do. Possibly the best acne preventative out there. I wouldn't say that it does anything much for existing bumps or spots. I'll talk about this bump in a minute. It has something to do with these products. But it does a good job preventing. So why this? That's why I said I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, the formula is oil-free. It's a great formula. 100% mugwort. This is 160 mils. And one bottle lasts me around three or four months. I spritz it on two times a day. And I layer it two times each time. So with four uses all over the face per day, one bottle lasts me around three or four months. Yeah. 160 mils. So will I repurchase? I've got three bottles in my stash and I'll repurchase this forever unless they reformulate or discontinue this. If so, can you sue a brand for discontinuing a product saying that, you know, it caused acne and thereby they harmed you? Yeah, and it was medical, not negligence, medically, it affected your health and that sort of thing. I don't know, I'll consider it if they ever discontinue or reformulate it. So yeah, I love this. The next product is a proper essence, an actual essence, an unexpected love that I'm going to repurchase for sure at the end of this month. I've got points expiring on a website, so I'll be buying this. What is it? Purito Galactoniacin 97 Power Essence contains 92% galactomyces ferment filtrate and 5% niacinamide. All gone. This is an essence. It's proper essence. It's runnier and thicker than the mugwort, which claims to be an essence. That is so runny and watery that I call that a toner and this an essence. <laughs> this in tandem with my Purito uh, Centella Unscented Serum 
is now the sort of center point of my skincare routine. So I start with mugwort essence, um, mugwort, sorry, galactonice and 97 power essence, and then move to my Purito Center Laurent scented, and that's it. On days when I do use retinoin, I tend to use, add another another step that is harder level premium hyaluronic acid. Otherwise, you know, there's enough hyaluronic acid in these and my moisturizers, so I don't need to add that as a separate step. Otherwise, I use harder level as well. So that's these two, this and the Purito Unscented, are the sort of center point of my skincare routine. This was actually a gift book purchase that I got ages and ages ago, and I forgot all about it. And then, you know, there was this Facebook group on K-Beauty and this girl posted a photograph of her before and after. She had put it up in his class and her face looked so amazing, right? And she said that the sort of center point of her routine was a beauty to galactonize and 97 power essence. And I thought, I need to dig mine out. So I did that and started using it. And I love it. This is possibly, I mean, I keep saying that this is my favorite niacinamide, but a bunch of products, right? I keep saying that uh, about the ordinary niacinamide powder. I keep saying that about the TM B3, vitamin B, vita B3, that is niacinamide. Um, I keep saying that about the inky list niacinamide. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think I like this best because A, 60 mils, everything else is 30. B, hassle-free. C, comes with galactomyces. Permit free trade. That also is a good ingredient for my skin. Um, a lot of people have said that they love the SK2 essence, that's galactomyces permit free trade, and it made a huge difference to uh, the texture of their skin. I've never really got on the SK2 bandwagon, it was too runny for my liking, and then you know, there were all these tiny sample bottles, which I still have actually. I should probably try that out. But this was the first time that I've seriously used Galactomyces, and I love the combination, the Galactomyces niacinamide combination. So I will be repurchasing this. The reason I have this is I stopped using this once I ran out, early June that was, and then this happened, this has happened just now. So I don't know, is it stopping the niacinamide that led to this? I feel that my skin is now slightly oilier than it was when I was using this. That's probably ni niacinamide's work. So what I'm going to do is I've got points expiring on yesterday, on 30th June, uh, birthday points and so on. So I'm going to be using those points to buy four of these. That should keep me going for the rest of the year because 60 mils lasts at least two or three months. So four bottles easily enough for the rest of the year. Then I can, my next yes time purchase after June 30th will be probably on Black Friday. Now, yeah, the Advent calendar. Hopefully I can get that this year. Um, Advent calendar and then Black Friday. And then I'm done for the rest of the year. However, the Purito Centella Unscented Essence uh, Serum doesn't work very well beneath makeup, I feel. So particularly, you know, on filming days I wear makeup, I feel that the makeup sort of drags because the Centella Serum is that kind of formula. You know, so for for the AM, because I like keeping my routine consistent these days, for the AM, my serum of choice has been the Cosarex Centella Aqua Soothing Ampoule. All gone, hang on, all gone. This was a very lightweight and runny serum compared to the Purito serum and essence. Much, and this is was a light essence, I would say, rather than a serum. serum. Not at all thick, definitely not. I wouldn't call this an ampoule. Fully oil-free though, it contains central aracea, ticker extract, chondras extract, sugarcane extract, and you know, glycerin and things like that, preservatives and so on, and allantoin. So those are the main ingredients in this. Um, I think so. Cosarex has some amazing products, and this is one of them. If you're looking for a light, this is 40 mils. See, that's another reason the Purito is more important to me. 60 mils, 40 mils. Now, on days that I use Hadalabo, I make sure to sandwich my hyaluronic acid with a mist before and after. And I use the Balance Me Hyaluronic Plumping Mist, which claims to be 99.99% natural. This is another, yeah, it's only a sample, came in an advent calendar or beauty box or gift book purchase, forgot where back in the dark ages. This is 
the main reason I feel for this bump over here. Yeah, I blame this for this more than not using the niacinamide. Without the niacinamide, I still wouldn't have got the bump if not for this. Because Balance Me contains so many essential oils and I just hate their products. They always, always, always break me out. Each time I think, oh, it's only hyaluronic acid mist. What's the worst it can do? And then boom, you know, I hate Balance Me. I, I don't know how on earth their products are even popular or they keep being sent out in a particular beauty box. I won't say which one. But I feel, you know, I mean, each time I try Balance Me with an open mind, this happens. Something like this happens. Not a fun. Now, face moisturizer. I've actually finished three this month. Don't ask me how. Yeah. This was almost over when June began. The Cosrx Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. Um, my favorite K Beauty moisturizer. I know I said K Beauty moisturizer, not mainstream. Uh, only so much left when the month began. Yeah, I think it finished in about three days into June or four days into June. Will I repurchase? I've got four in stash and will be buying more as and when I need. I think I'm okay for the rest of the year, definitely, because this is a whopping 100 mils, people. So uh, definitely enough for the rest of the year and well into 2022 as well. Oh, my God, it's almost 2022. So... That is a favorite. It's a staple. You've seen this before in my empties. You will see it again. Now, this one I used on non-retinol nights alone. Morad Retinol Youth Renewal Cream because you don't want to use a retinol cream on nights when you are using retinol. I love the packaging. I feel that it definitely helped on non-retinol nights to sort of keep that, you know, keep your skin on your toes. I think it did a good job. But I like the serum better than the cream. I feel that I had better results with the serum than the cream. It's not that the cream was, you know, too thick. A cream, it's a cream. Would you expect? I'm going to be run, is it? It's not that it broke me out actively. It's retinoin. I mean, it's retinol. Retinol, not retinoin. It's retinol. How's retinol going to break you out? All, unless you're purging and I'm past that stage. Uh, all that is fine. I like this. It's just that I like the serum better. So if I, you ask me which Murad product to repurchase or buy, I would say the retinol serum, not the night cream. Now, because of this, I've started using this. I mean, there was only very little left. It's gone. Yeah, believe me, it's all gone. Yeah, probably a draw for two left, but that's all. Yeah, what is it? DCL Clear Skin Anti-Blemish Hydrator soothes, brightens and treats blemish prone skin. Let me tell you something. DCL is a very underrated brand and has some very, very, very brilliant acne treatment products. Their Alpha Beta Gel Toner actually prevents breakouts and is a great spot treatment as well. I adore it. I actually sent it to a friend of mine. I hope she likes it as much as I do. I've got three or four bottles of that as well. This is another very nice product. Oh, nice moisturizer. If you actually have active acne, don't use it, otherwise it's too harsh. If you have active acne, very, very, very nice. See, my skin's definitely oilier without the nice oil. So I've been saving this for an acne bout, and here we were. I feel that it has helped reduce it. I didn't really, I didn't need to go into, you know, massive spot treatment or use up a zit sticker or something with this. It's been mild. Hopefully it is on its way out and will be coming back. So yeah, I like this, but I repurchased. There are a couple more anti-blemish or add uh, moisturizers in my stash that I want to use up first because you know why do you want to keep on buying moisturizers? I've got loads. Right, let's count how many products are there. Yeah, what, sorry, bath and body. Lastly, no body products this month. Hand cream, L'Occitane, lavender hand lotion. Look at that, all gone. Uh, this 300 mils of it. Lavender smelled amazing, loved it, softened my hands, all right, not my absolute, didn't, you know, blow me away, was very, very nice, nevertheless. Will I repurchase? Not right now. You know, maybe when L'Occitane has a massive sale or, you know, lots and lots of gifts with purchase or something. Loan product, 67 I had to go, that leaves me with 56 to use up in five months' time. Now, hang on, July, August, September, October, November, December. Hey, so that's six months, isn't it? Yeah. 56 products to use up. That's not so bad. I think I can get there definitely with about, you know, half a month to spare or something. We'll see. Yeah. 
So how much have you used up this month? What have you used up this month? Have you used up any of these products? What are your thoughts on this? Do tell me all of that in the comments below. If you are posting your empties on Instagram, please do tag me. I'm Nosy. I'd love to see everybody's trash. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.